massive clothing haul. Yay! Woo -woo 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 -woo. Um, I know how much you guys love these videos. So I've got a ton of stuff that I'm just going to get straight into because otherwise this video is going to be super long. I'm sitting over here because I'm going to put insects here of me wearing them so you can see obviously what they look like on because there's no point me showing you like this because you can't see really what it's like you know so let's go straight in i'm just going to pick up random stuff i've got it on like literally like a heap on the floor so it might be a bit jumbled but that's kind of fun though actually the first thing i got is this jumper which is kind of like obviously you'll see better here it's an off the shoulder i guess you could wear it on the shoulder or you could wear it off both shoulders um i wear it off just like one shoulder kind of like just yeah um but it's really nice and distressed like it's a really nice distressed knit can you see that i think you can see that like these distressing marks so they're like all over and it's just so comfy and like so perfect for this time of year I really like this colour, as you can see here, with leather leggings, like kind of nudie jumpers, or this kind of like, what would you call this, like, it's like a dark beigey nude, kind of, um, with leather leggings, I think it looks so nice, like that is just, yeah, it looks so good. Um, so this is the first jumper I got, this was from Misguided, I will leave everything listed below um, in order that I speak about it, so it makes it easier, but also I'll put like, distressed nude jumper, and then I'll put the link. Um, am I out? But <laughs> what? I am also gonna put um because obviously it's Black Friday tomorrow. Yes. Um, so I've got discount codes already for you for you guys to shop. So hopefully, I'm pretty sure most of the stuff I'm showing you have got deals on. I mean, most people do, right? So I will leave that down below as well. So I'll put like distress jumper here code da -da -da, for Black Friday. You know? Yeah. Okay. So next up, the first thing I see is this black leather, well it's faux leather jacket. This is from um, La Sula. Is it La Sula? La Sula? I'm not sure. But it's like a faux leather jacket. It's got no collar, but it's got really cool like fringing. So you can see it's got like fringing here and it's also got fringing on the back. And I just think it's like a nice different jacket. So like I love leather jackets anyway, like I just love leather in general. Um, but I think it's nice, it's got the tassels, like I think it looks really cool from the back, it just makes it a bit more interesting and a bit more edgy, you know, which you guys know, it's my thing. Um, next up from the same company, La Sula, La Sula, La Sula, another distressed jumper. Guys, just so you know, you're going to see quite a lot of jumpers in this video because you know me, I love a sweatshirt, I love jumpers, and I love hoodies, like, they're my jam. Um, but this is another distressed one, but this is a sweatshirt, and it's in a olive green, or khaki, as we call it in England. I don't think you really say khaki in America, but in England we call this khaki, khaki. Um, really nice colour, and it is actually a jumper dress, super, super long and oversized, which I love. Um, and again, it has got this distressing on it. Um, hopefully you can see that, I'm pretty sure you can. So it's got like this distressing mark all over it, um, which you know I'm all about that. So, really like this jumper. Next up I got these leather leggings. You may have seen these on my Instagram because I did wear these on a night out. They're so nice. Um, these are also from Misguided and they are a lace up leather legging or faux leather legging, they have a zip up the side, um, okay, you, you guys might have seen if you follow me on Snapchat when I got these, that I was like frustrated because they only had them in petite or tall, there was no like normal size people in there, there was only petite or tall, and I'm five foot seven, so technically I actually came into the tall category, category, because the category for tall said five foot seven and over, and then the petite said five foot three and under, so I was like, well, what about us all in between people? Um, there was none for that person. But then I looked at the tool and they were like super long on the girl and it said the model was five foot ten. So I was like, if they're long on her, they're gonna be even longer on me. And to be honest, with dressy kind of evening, I wear these like in the evening. I would rather wear, I like them cropped. Like I just quite like cropped trousers anyway. So I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna get the petite. And I got the petite and they are short, but they're totally fine. Um, anyway, so these are a petite size 10, and as you can see here, they are short, but I totally like it, so I really like these. Um, next up, also from Misguided, I don't know if I'm going to show you this on because it is underwear, but I'll see when it looks... I haven't actually tried this on yet. Um, 
they've got a whole oh my god they've got like a whole massive range of underwear like seriously so much underwear but it's not like your regular underwear you know it's like cool underwear so not like a regular mom i'm a cool mom but you could wear maybe as clothes even um so i got these <laughs> they look like granny pants <laughs> they're totally not okay oh i really want to put them on but i just don't know if that's really right to show me an underwear on it's just like a bikini then right um anyway they've got like this detailing like at the top these are a size 10 they look quite big though right um but they're meant to be like high-waisted like proper pants you know like pants it's super cute so it's got the detailing on the bottom is still um and then it's like kind of racer at the front and the back you know so i really like those so another underwear oh my god this one is so nice so this is the other piece of underwear I got off the misguided site. How nice is this? So it's like velvet, black velvet, which is totally in right now. Velvet is like everywhere. And then it's got this really nice lace-up detailing, which is probably quite hard for me to show you here. I will show you this one on here. Um, so nice and really nice underneath a top. It actually looked really nice underneath this top, which I also got from misguided, which is this one here. I actually wore this out last weekend. Um, so let me just make it not inside out anymore. Um, really nice top. Um, so it's like really low at the front. It's like in this kind of gold sheer kind of material and it is long sleeve. You can see it way better here, right? But with this bra underneath, I think it looks really cute, right? I think that looks really nice. Um, this one I actually got in a size 14. Um, because again, this was in the petite section and I wanted it to be slightly longer and like lower and kind of baggier i do that quite often i'll buy like a size bigger or even in this case two sizes bigger just so it gives me that more slouchy hanging look to it which i really like but obviously if you'd rather it was just like cropped and tighter it's never going to be tight but tighter than just buy your normal size you know but yeah i really like those two together also from misguided i love misguided right <laughs> i got this coat this is a it's like that kind of teddy bear you know like that teddy bear fur um, and it's like in a kind of aviator biker ish kind of style um so it's got like a belt at the bottom you're going to see it much better here um i really like the fit of this it's super warm and cozy and this teddy bear fur thing is like everywhere like there's so many of these jackets around with this kind of teddy bear should i say teddy bear one more time this teddy bear oh my god i can't stop saying it <laughs> This material is everywhere in coats, like so many. You can get it in bombers. I think on Misguided they had it in a bomber, they had it in like an overcoat, they had it in this. Like there was a, quite a few options. So definitely check them out because I think they're like really in right now. They're so in right now. And um, right, next up. Ugh. Next up I got some stuff from that website that I had in my last clothing haul, that Man Manier de Voir. Um, after I actually put that video up, they actually contacted me and said, can we send you some clothes? And I was like, yeah, yes, because I already like the clothes. So I picked a few pieces, quite a few pieces. Where's the top of this? Um, this is also a jumper, sweatshirt, hoodie dress. Um, so it's super long, in black, and as you can see, it laces down the front. But it's like not open. Yeah, it's open at the top and then it's closed, you know. But again, I think it's also so nice to just... Just shove on, it's super warm, super comfy, but yet still looks really cool. I would actually love to wear this just with trainers, but it's getting a bit cold now, so you'd have to put something on your legs. So you can wear it with like leather leggings or just regular leggings. You could wear it with tights, I guess. Tights aren't really my thing, but you could totally wear it with tights. Or you could just shove on like some over knee boots and go for like a mixture of casual with dressy, you know? I quite like that look. Anyway, it's, I love the hood. The hood's like really big. It's just got the manier de voir on the hood at the top. But yeah, really nice. And I got another hoodie from them. You guys know I'm a hoodie addict. Seriously though, I'm addicted. I think I'm actually have an issue. I'm addicted to hoodies. Like when me and Pete go into town, Pete's my boyfriend by the way, if you're new to my channel, he's never been on my channel, ever. He just doesn't want to come on. It's not that he doesn't want to come on. You know what it is? He just wants to feel needed and he doesn't feel needed by you guys so he's not coming on just so you know <laughs> um anyway whenever we go into town we always go into like h&m or top shop and i swear down we don't even look in the women's section we go straight to top man or straight to h&m men's 
or straight to Zara Men's and we both buy stuff from there. And it's actually quite good because I like my hoodies like oversized. I usually buy like a large in a hoodie, which he's a large in a hoodie anyway. So sometimes I'll see one. He's like, oh, I like that too. And I'm like, Shazies? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I share close to my boyfriend. Anyway, this one would not fit him. This is from the same website, Manier de Roi. Uh, it's like a grey, almost like velour. I think it is velour, you know. Grey hoodie. Again, really nice oversized hood and it's got like these splits at the side. Um, which makes it a little bit different, so comfortable, and also I don't have a grey, do I have a grey hoodie? I don't think I do, you know, and it's got like some extra detailing which makes it a little bit more girly, so if you like hoodies but you'd rather be a bit more girly, like not proper men's hoodies like me, um, then this one's like a little bit more girly because it's got like the satin bits at the side, like off the pocket, so I think that makes it a bit girlier, you know, and also the fact it's in velour, I don't think really a guy could wear velour, I mean you could, but yeah and then next up i got this is the same company it's all coming together Manier de Bois. this is like a polo neck yeah it's not really a polo neck is it it's just like a small little polo neck um it's like a long sleeved just tight basic tee but i really like that it says heard it all before on the thing i love stuff that says stuff like especially when it's quite small but like, you know when you have like little bits of writing like like on the boot pocket and stuff or like on the back of your neck or you know, I like I like stuff like that a lot. So this is really cute and just like a really simple top to put on. And then a dressy item, which I chose from them. So I thought I better get something that's a bit girly and dressy. This is a jumpsuit. I can't, this material is so nice. It's like really heavy and thick. I can't no way near show you this on here, but it's like a kind of polo neck as well, like a funnel neck, is it? And then it's got some mesh detailing here. And then it just goes in and then it goes all the way obviously to trousers kind of like leggings which also have mesh down the side of the leg you'll be able to see this way better on because i can't really show you like this i said in the last video they don't have like loads of stuff on the website it's not like a misguided or asos where there's like so much stuff there's not a lot of stuff but the stuff they have is so nice and everything i've got so far the quality has been so good like seriously it feels like expensive where are my leather trousers? I've got some leather trousers. I'm just going to go get them because I wore them last night and I've realised I forgot to get them out. Oh, peace. I'm back. Right. So, yeah, these leather... Oh, my God. These. I've been looking for some nice leather trousers or faux leather trousers for so long. Like, for real. I couldn't find any that, like... Apart from, like, ridiculously expensive ones that are real leather, I just couldn't find any that fitted right, that were high-waisted but not too high-waisted have like some nice detailing zips on them and nothing too crazy and well this is them like oh my goodness i wore these last night as i said they are so comfortable and they're such nice material you know some like faux leather stuff it's like really gross material like this doesn't feel nice these literally feel like so like butter like really buttery leather faux leather they've got zips down the leg but nothing too crazy and um, they've got suede pockets suede pockets and their trousers at the back so you can totally wear these even though they're quite leggy because they've got the button and the zip and also the the pockets you can totally wear these as proper trousers like it doesn't matter if you show the waistband um and then they're just like plain all the way down apart from those zips at the top and then the back has also a suede panelling down the back with a zip up the leg and honestly guys I just can't tell you how comfortable and how amazing these look. You can see right here, I honestly, I love these so much. I know I'm going to wear these like every single day. Um, I got these in a size 10. I'd say many of the are pretty true to size, but I wouldn't say these are particularly tight. So, and they're stretchy. These are definitely my favourite new item for sure. Okay, next up, um, a couple more coats. I got this one from Misguided. Oh my god, this is so nice. So it's a faux fur black bomber, but it's long and it's got a huge hood, which I'm all about hoods. Hood life, yes. <laughs> um, it's just a, so nice and it's so warm. And it's like, because it's fur, faux fur, it makes it kind of dressy, but then it's like a bomber. So it makes it still quite cool, you know? And I just love the hood on it and it's just so comfortable and warm. And then I also got this jacket from Zara, which again, you would have seen on my Instagram, but you guys loved it. It's so cool. Um, so this is the women's and it's a camo puffer coat. I got this in a large. It might even be extra large. 
Um, oh my god, I haven't even taken the tag off yet. I've worn it like twice. I got it in an extra large, so it's really big. But I just like stuff, especially jackets. Obviously, if it's like a tight fitted top, then no, I'll just buy my normal size. If it's like an oversized jumper, I always will buy it bigger. Or if it's a jacket like this, I will always buy it bigger. Because then you can wear like big sweatshirts underneath and it's not going to be like too claustrophobic. I'm very claustrophobic. And then on the back, it's got whatever. Um, which to be honest, I probably maybe have it without that. Pete hates this. Pete doesn't like that it says that on the back. He likes the jacket, but not the back. And I kind of feel the same. I love words on the back, but I just wish it didn't say whatever. But whatever. <laughs> I do really like it. And it's such a nice fit, like really oversized. Uh, next up, I got some stuff from Boohoo. A, another knitted kind of jumper. This one's super plain because I'm actually going to do a DIY with this, I think. I've been looking for this kind of jumper because I've got something in mind. Um, so it's just like a really plain, like really, really soft and super comfortable jumper. But yeah, I've got something in mind which I'm going to do with that, so look out for that video. And then, oh, something girly and tight. <laughs> I got this body. This body looks so nice. Um, it's just like a mesh body, but then it's got like... I don't know if you're able to see it on the camera. It's got like detailing on it, like lace bits, and I think it's really nice. And I think it looks really nice with the leather trousers, like because obviously it's tucked in, or even a leather skirt. I think it would look really, really nice. So I got that one. From the Boohoo men's section, I got another hoodie, but look at the colour of this. How nice is this? It's like nude! It's a nude hoodie! I've been looking for a nude hoodie. Hoodie! I've been looking for a nude hoodie and it's got distressing on it. Can you see? So it's all distressed. I might distress it a tiny bit more than that, but I really like the distressing it's got. I just think it just needs a little bit more roughening up. But to be honest, once you put it in the washing machine, it probably will get a bit rougher. Um, but such a nice, oh, I love this colour. They had it in loads of colours. I think they had like black. They had one that was a bit more of like a pinky nude, like almost like a rust. And then they had, I think, a peach. And I think they had a khaki olive one, I think. They had loads. Um, and super cheap, like super cheap. And I got this in a size large. And this is the, um, it's the shade, the shade? It's the colour. Um, top, taupe, taupe. Yeah, oh, so nice. Um, and I also got some fishnet socks. Like, yeah, like fishnet socks um, from Boohoo because I think it looks really cool if you wear like ankle boots and then you've got your fishnet sock over the top. Or, you know my boots, my cutout boots I wear. I'll show you here. My cutout boots I wear with the holes in them because now it's winter, not that this is going to keep me warm. I thought it might look quite cute with the fishnets underneath, so that's why I got them. And then I also got these earrings, which are so nice. I love cross earrings, and they're so like everywhere right now. I'm just going to open them, it's going to be noisy. And um, this spoo stuff actually only arrived this morning. Cross earrings are like everywhere right now, aren't they? Like loads of people wear them on Instagram. And um, the ones they wear are really expensive. Not like ridiculously expensive, but I'm talking like 40, 50 pounds. I'm not about that life, paying for £50 for a pair of earrings that I might just wear a couple of times. But these look so similar to the ones I've seen in those, like, the people wearing. And I think they're really cute. I especially like this kind of thing if you're wearing, like, an off-the-shoulder top. Or like, even, like, now. Look, I'll show you one in. Yeah? Like, how nice does that look? I think it just like, dresses up an outfit and I just really, I really like these a lot. Good purchase. Okay, and then lastly I got some shoes from ego.co.uk, ego official. Um, and I got these kind of badass boots. And um, they've got like the like rough bottom. What's this called? Like, I don't know what that's called, you know? Like that kind of bottom where it's like... Um, yeah, like this. <laughs> I don't know what this is called. <laughs> um, and they're like chunky heeled, faux suede, faux leather, lace up, padded. Really cool. I like, really like these. I'll probably wear these like with a, like that, maybe that olive sweatshirt, the distressed one, some fishnet socks, and then these, and then like a coat. I think that would look really cool. So those. So that's everything I got recently. I feel like I probably did get more stuff um but i've worn it already so it's just like lost in my wardrobe now but if you do see stuff on my instagram like when i do 
outfits of the day on Instagram. I always do tag where they're from or I have an app, not my app, but I use the app Like to Know, which basically if you like my photo on that app, then you'll get an email with everything I'm wearing with a link, like so you can just click and buy it or click and just view it or click and see how much it is, like straight away. So if you didn't know that, that is the best and quickest way to find out what I'm wearing. And it's also like, not secretive, but it's not, like no one would know you're looking at what I've got on. Because I know sometimes people find that a bit weird to ask someone what they're wearing. I don't, and you don't, it shouldn't. Because if you ask me what I'm wearing, I'll totally just answer you as soon as I see the comment. Um, I will leave below my link to like to know it, because then if you click on that link, you can see everything. Like, I mean, everything that I basically own. Like, as in makeup, clothes, over the last, since I've been using it, which is like almost a year, maybe. So it's quite a good place if you want to find something that you know that I like, it will be in that list and you can just look at it on there. So I'll leave that below for you. As I said, I will leave every discount code I know for Black Friday. Even if I haven't got stuff from there, if there's a website I know that you guys will like, that I know the discount code for, I will also leave that in the description bar. Say like ASOS, because I don't think I've got anything here from ASOS, but I do buy from... Oh, I did get some jeans from ASOS, but I don't know where they are. But... I'll leave shops like ASOS for example if they've got a Black Friday deal I will leave it down below as well just so you know everything because it's the best time to shop especially online because I'm not about going into town and busy busy people like all around like it's much better online right in your pajamas yeah so that is everything for this video guys I really hope you liked it give it a thumbs up if you did and happy Thanksgiving and I will see you in my next video bye guys